Science classrooms around the country are in desperate need of a makeover. Now, one exceptional teacher who has succeeded in teaching and inspiring his students in spite of the state of his classroom will see his dream become a reality. As his students and a team of designers work through the long, hot summer, trying to create the ultimate surprise. They race the clock as the work must be completed before the new school year starts. With less than 72 hours to do the unveiling, we're at uh, Code Red at the moment. It's out with the old and in with the new as they build the dream science classroom. While Derek's immersed in prehistoric times, the future is on its way in. The first of the high-tech tools, the smart board, has arrived. The 78-inch touch-sensitive smart board will interact with Brad's computer and will replace his antiquated overhead projector, blackboard, and 19-inch television and will eventually become the focus of the classroom. Hi, Hi Derek. Yes. Hi, Eric Bentley with Smart Bear. Nice, nice to meet you. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So we got uh, the first of our gadgets here. Huh? Yes, we do. It yes, makes his life a lot easier. I would say we move it over just a touch, and we'll move our plans, and maybe somewhere in here. Okay, so maybe bring the left edge. And... Yeah, kind of like follow the, the seam of the, uh, of the block. Perfect. Because that pretty much, pretty much centers everything. The board is secure. Now Derek hangs the in-focus projector, which will project Brad's computer screen onto the smart board. When we set the board up and we shine the, light, the projector on it, uh, we have to do what's called orienting the board. It's basically like a little touch pattern. So there'll be nine points in different corners so that when I walk up to it and I touch an icon on my desktop, I go to launch you know, PowerPoint or whatever. When I do that, the computer needs to know where that point is on my computer screens. So now when I touch the board, the cursor is right underneath my fingertip. And when I come up here and I start writing on the screen, you can see I can use one of these pens, or once I pick up the pen, I can just use my finger. My finger becomes a mouse. Pick up the eraser tool, clear it all out right off the screen here with just one touch. The smart board looks awfully lonely in the empty room. And while it's smart, without a computer, it's just a white board. And Derek's just found out that the shipment of laptops he expected hasn't arrived. With one week left, he's also waiting for all of the lab furniture. Without these computers, we don't have a dream science classroom. We have just an ordinary plain old classroom, you know, with a bunch of cool stuff. But, you know, um, you know, it's tough. We have donated to Brad's classroom a couple of different things, one being uh, our Discovery School CD-ROMs and DVDs, a huge collection focused on middle school um, concepts such as physical science or science and life science. The other thing that we're giving to Brad is Discovery Education Science Connection. I think the Dream Science Classroom is an incredible work of art. If I were a student at, in this day and age, I would be floored and I'm so excited for Brad that he is able to take all of these resources and bring them to life, help bring science to life for his kids. So Brad, on behalf of Discovery, I'm just going to stay here. Welcome to your uh, dream science classroom. Wow. Wow. I don't know who you are, but wow. No. <laughs> I'm Derek. I was the art director on the project. And all these fine people right here donated their time, energy to make this your dream science classroom. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you very much. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid desk. <laughs> Stupid TV. I want to do that. I know before you had that kind of big obstruction right over here, so we've kind of streamlined it. Made it a lot easier for you. You want to take a seat? Test it out. You got your in-focus projector. We got cable TV for you. Discovery's hooked you up with learning tools right here. You got your microscope that hooks into your laptop so you can do like little slide experiments, project them on the TV. Now, you like to walk around the classroom, write notes and everything, right? You gonna do it right on this? <laughs> <laughs> And you can even surprise your kids with pop quizzes. You know, an entire school year to really fully understand and grasp the type of things that are available in this classroom. And I think that's going to be a, a driving force for kids coming in. So if you want to go online, just double click on Internet Explorer there. Brad's still in shock. Right. Now there's one final challenge, learning how to use all of his new tools. The room has been designed and built based on Brad's curriculum and technology wish list. And he's gotten it all. It really is his dream science classroom. I know you'll get a kick out of it. Since you're a baseball coach, right? You can design plays with this as well. It's great. You seem to know a little bit about that. Yeah, it's just student response system so you can ask a question anytime and not just have feedback from one of the students, you can get feedback from every student in the class. 